Hello everyone, my name is Manjunath and in this video, I'm going to tell you how you can start a client project and successfully complete it without facing lots of problem. First of all, in order to start the client project, you would require client. So how to get the clients? There are so many ways using which you can get client, but uh, the simplest one would be to ask uh, the client itself that uh, do you want the project? If you know how to build website, mobile application or any other thing, you can directly ask uh, client itself that do they want project. So now you might ask who are this client? This client might be anybody. They they might be your parents, uh, they might be your parents' friends, uh, they might be someone in the neighborhood. Uh, you can ask anyone uh, who might have business in your uh, relative uh, circle or uh, even friends, family circle and all. Just ask them, uh, do they want website for their uh, business? So if they say they want it, then there you go, you got the client. And then there are other options also which are available. You can use freelancing websites and all. Uh, there are uh, many freelancing websites, uh, but uh, Freelancer, Upwork and uh, Fiverr, these are the three which I used to personally so you can pick any of these things in this website you have to go there create your profile and you have to start bidding on the project whereas other people also will be bidding on this platform so it's a tough place to get the project but still there is way for you to get the project if you have built proper profile and if you know how to code properly once you get project and you got the client then clearly take the requirement from them that what exactly do they want to be built how they exactly need it to be done and uh, you can collect requirement from them once you collect requirement from them just try to understand what exactly the project is about and what and all you need to do in order to complete that particular project just think about it write it down somewhere and uh, try to plan like how it can be done once you have done planning and all, then start designing the front end of it. So if they want one business website, just make sure you design front end properly. You don't go directly and start coding it, design it. You can use paper and pencil also, no problem. Or there are other tools like Adobe HD and Figma also. Figma is the free tool which I am using for designing all of my projects. So you can use these tools for designing how does one website looks even before you actually code it. So once that design is done, you can start designing the back end of the project also, if there is some back end related to it. So during that, you can plan like how does database will look like and what at all controllers, models and other things which you require in the project itself and go ahead and create your project. Once that is done, you should start implementing features. Most people would say that you should start with the, the core and important feature, but I am not one of them which says that you start with core feature. I would tell you to start with your favorite feature. For me personally, authentication is the favorite feature. So for any project, I create it and I immediately implement authentication in it. So it's up to you. Whatever the favorite feature of yours, you directly implement it. Once implemented, you can go ahead and start building the project properly. It's all about building that one particular feature. Once you built it, then building next feature is not that much tough as well as you can build it because you already have collected requirement and you know exactly what needs to be done. Once you have built your project and you might have completed maybe one 40, 50, 60 percent, then immediately show it to client. You need to show the project which actually is usable. It need not be perfect and error free, but just make sure it is usable and you should be able to see it on the page. Because if you just built one API of project, then obviously you can't show it to the client and client don't have any use in it. But if you built one backend API properly and connected it to front end and uh, something is visible then that is useful for client and they can look at it and the sooner you show the project to client it's better because they'll be able to give you tons of feedbacks which you will be getting uh, and you can use for making the project even better but if you show it in the end then obviously then they will be giving some feedback then you have to again go back to code and you have to fix it so it's much better the earlier client sees the website and give you feedback if they say that everything is fine and amazing you already completed the project you just need to finish it off that's all if they say there are some things needs to be done then you can plan it and you can do it then once you have collected their feedback you can start working on it and build it properly and release it obviously once you released you will get paid and you will be able to do whatever you want to do with that particular money so that's how you start one client project by getting first client then collecting the proper requirement which is required for building the project once you have done it you can start with the designing the architecture 
architecture as well as front end design once that is done you can go ahead and build your favorite feature you can start coding properly and you can show the preview to the client and once they give all the feedback and they say that project is fine you can go ahead and you can release it and collect the money of course so that would be it for this video guys if you like this video don't forget to hit that like button and see you in the next video bye bye